Welcome back to another innovation review. Today, we're going to be checking out the EZ from Doheny eBikes. But before we jump into the review, just want to ask you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's head to the review. First, let's talk about the looks. The Doheny EZ is a folding electric bike that comes in quite a few colors. I'm not even going to list them all here, but check out their website and see all the cool colors they offer. The EZ we're reviewing here is the Lavender Sunrise. The EZ is super approachable with a standover height of only 16 inches and a reach of only 19 inches. So this is something that would be a good fit for anyone 5 feet tall to 6 feet tall and you could probably get away with a little less or a little more, but those are some solid elements based on my testing. With the big fat tires and front suspension, the EZ seems like it would handle some reasonable off-road adventures. It's not something you'd want to climb up mountains with, but if you're in a state park and want to do some unpaved exploring, I think this e-bike would do just fine. Next, let's talk about the motor. The motor we have here is a Doheny branded 750 watt rear hub motor. This motor's got about 75 newton meters of torque and does well on flat surfaces and some inclines. If I was pedaling, getting up any of the hills I tested out, it was a piece of cake. You know, throttle had its limitations, but this isn't necessarily a con. But just know that if you want to go up some steep embankments, you may have to give a little assistance. I think the motor hit all the checks I'd expect it to hit, so I don't have any complaints about it. Next, let's talk about the battery. The battery we have here is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour, 720 watt hour battery. The battery is lockable and removable. It's also got a quick read display on top, so you can easily check its charge status. So once you get this battery fully charged, which should take around five hours or so, you should be able to get a solid 30 miles, if not more out of this setup. The amp hour here is a bit on the smaller side, but this would be an easy upgrade to see in future models of the bike. In fact, Doheny's already commented on expanding the capacity here, so that is something to look forward to. Next, let's talk about the brakes. The Easy is rocking Logan hydraulic brakes with 160 millimeter rotors, both in the front and the rear. The stopping power here is impressive. I've started to see more Logan brakes on e-bikes and so far I've, I've been impressed with the build quality and their usefulness. On the Easy, the brakes stop the bike quickly. Even when I was reaching speeds upwards of 30 miles per hour, I always felt like I was in control and could come to stop in a hurry if I needed to. So I think Dohe did a good job here in the braking department. Next, let's talk about the gears. Up in the front, we've got our old friend, the SIS Index Thumb Shifter. That is connected to the seven speed Shimano turning derailleur here in the rear. It's always great to see name brand parts, especially in the shifting department. As far as the gearing goes, we did see some ghost pedaling after 24 miles per hour, but I think who this bike is aimed for usually won't be going those speeds, so not a big deal on this particular bike. If you plan to stay around the 20 mile per hour mark, you never know. Next, let's talk about the extras. Doheny mentioned to me that they wanted to provide as much value with their bikes right out of the box. I think they really held up that ideal here because we've got integrated front lights, which sport a metal housing and feel much higher quality than we've seen on other e-bikes at this price range. We've got an integrated rear light, which also has turn signal capabilities. You can control those turn signals by using the keypad on the handlebars, and this is a big safety feature. And although it's not legally required in the US, Doheny wanted to include these safety features on their bikes. We've got full length heavy duty fenders in the front and the rear. Easy also comes with a rear rack. So there's just a ton of extras here and those components seem to be of excellent quality. I think Doheny really went above and beyond in the extras department. Next, let's talk about the suspension. Up in the front, we've got a Doheny branded adjustable suspension front fork. It has about 80 millimeters of travel, which helps smooth out bumps and smaller obstacles in the path. You know, I never took it on anything that really bottomed it out, but I did take it on some bike trails with the roots and the like, and it held up really well there. The next part of suspension we talk about is the tires. Here we have these 20 by 4 inch Kenda tires with puncture protection. These particular ones have some nice knobbies which provide fantastic grip when rolling through the dirt and rocks. Doheny also offers a white wall tire option on most of their bikes as well, so if you like that look, they have that available. The last part of suspension we always talk about is the butt suspension. So the saddle we have here is an unbranded faux leather comfort saddle. And I like this seat quite a bit, actually. Aesthetically, it matches the grips, which is cool, but I also enjoy the way it matched my sit bones. All of these elements combined for a really comfortable and fun ride. Next, let's talk about who this bike might be for. This is a bike for someone who wants to be very comfortable while riding around on sidewalks, bike paths, light trails, 
and who wants the option to tackle tougher trails, you know, if that's required. With the included rack, it also opens up the possibility of short distance commuting with the foldable aspect. This is a bike that would be excellent for RVs or it would stow nicely on a boat. You know, I've even seen some folks who had surf racks here and use it as their beach mobile others who throw a milk crate on it and they fish out of it. So it, it's really one of those bikes that is limited by your own imagination. Well, we've talked about the specs, some of the use cases here. So now it's time to head outside for the ride test. All right, guys, welcome back to the ride test portion of the review. We are on the Lavender Easy from Doheny. Let's go ahead and turn this on. The power button's right under here on our control panel here. Go ahead and turn it on. Display Roars to Life. Now it does start out in pedal assist level zero, but you still do get access to the throttle. So if you turn it on, you need to get away. I don't know, if you're in a bank robbery or a heist or something, you can just, you know, scooch around. But let's go ahead and put it in pedal assist level one and let's pedal as if it were a bike. See what those speeds it wants to rest at. So pedal assist level one looks like it's at about nine miles per hour here. Pedal assist level two. Motor power is gonna kick up here. I notice with these noises, there's a jackhammer over here. There was a plane overhead. It's just not a good audio day. Not a good audio day. All right, pedal assist level two is about 13 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and put it in pedal assist level three. Oh, that's about 17. Pedal assist level four. About that 25 miles per hour and pedal assist level five. Doing our top speed run here. Now at right at about that 24 miles per hour, we do start to get a little bit of ghost pedaling. So this is something where if I was needing to travel this fast, you either gotta really, really pedal or you can just use the throttle. just cruising. Now what's nice about this bike too, so we probably mentioned in the review already, is the handlebars up front, or rather the stem, is adjustable. So you do have adjustable height, so if you wanted to make this shorter or taller, you could do that. Right now I've got it set at the lowest setting, but we'll go ahead and do a little brake test here. Brake's doing a great job. And then you can just adjust this. Pop this open, let's do max. And so now you've got some serious height to it and you know if i wanted to you know get wild we could drop this seat down a little bit more all the way to the bottom now we're just cruising like chopper style yeah the old chopper cruise on the lavender step through and you know this is a vibe this is uh this is much different i probably wouldn't do a lot of pedaling because i sunk that seat down real low but we can cruise. So I'm hitting 30 miles per hour right now. Touching on 31 in a headwind. So that is, that's sustained right about that 30, 31 miles per hour. So this thing's got a lot of juice to it. So we can really start to push the limbs as far as the speed goes. But yeah, I kind of like the cruiser vibe. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. It's probably not super practical. So if you were somebody who wanted to, you know, ride this bike the right way, we can go ahead and pop this seat up to a good riding height for me. Lower this down, probably about there-ish. And now we're at a really solid spot to do some pedaling. Now, a couple of things about this bike which are extra. Um, first off, at this price range, we're not used to seeing hydraulic brakes come stock on this sort of bike. So that's an industry upgrade that they're giving us here. The other thing is we've got lights, horns, and turn signals, which you don't see from, yeah, again, bikes at this price point. Now, in countries where that's a requirement, you'd see it, but you know, Doheny wanted to add those extra safety features here. So we've got the light button, which 
turn a light on, you probably won't see it because it's the middle of the day. I've got a horn here. Nice and loud, but not obnoxiously loud. It's enough to uh, let somebody know you're coming, but not enough to deafen yourself in the garage. And then of course we've got the turn signals here. You can turn them both on, turn them off right here. So and that's a nice safety feature, letting people know, hey, I'm turning this way and I'm turning that way. And on our display here, we can cycle through a couple different things. Right now it's showing us speed and the total miles on the bike. And we can go to our average speed. We can go to our max speed and back to our speed here. So it is gonna show us, you know, quite a few things. And then this bottom button is gonna cycle through the odometer, time, wattage. So it'll let you know how many watts that you're pulling. So right now we're pulling about 200, cruising at about 18, 19 miles an hour, which is not too shabby. I was gonna turn back around and then I caught a, uh, an estate sale sign. Wouldn't that be wild if this, uh, this bike review just turns into a, a Gary V episode? We gotta check it out, you know? cruise so back to the bike review there was no deals in there it's not going to turn into a uh, Gary V episode unfortunately but you know I would have been wondering what the heck was in there the rest of the day so glad we could put that aside and that'll do it for our review on the Easy from Doheny. If you want to know more about them, you can check out their website down below in the description. All the specs are in the description as well. So if you made it this far and you got questions about the specs, check down there. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.